this is the Ivy Pool. We're shooting here today. We've been ever so fortunate they've opened the venue up for us before opening hours. So we can shoot the new Slinky campaign here. Not many people get the privilege of shooting here, so we're very, very grateful. Now I'm going to explore change rooms. Oh, no need. Yeah. These are two of our assistant models. <laughs> what is your name? Brooke. <laughs> and where are you from, Brooke? I love that one. You'd crop that there, yeah. and there, so you have half a face on either side, and then that's what, just, just that. cut our faces off? No, just half the face. <laughs> it's great. I Brooke, like how it. did you feel today's shoot went? Really good. <laughs> so yeah, go follow Brooke Nash, and um, we're going to carry on looking at the pictures. <laughs> in two days' time, we are going to the Philippines to do what I call an Instagram holiday, which is not a holiday at all, it's actually me working and Pia having a holiday. What? In terms of photos, the photos you see on Instagram, we use this. This is a Canon 5D Mark III. I use a standard 24 to 70 mil lens. This is an L series lens, so it's very good. It's nice and fast. This is the Osmo. You put your phone in here, and this is what they call a gimbal. And a gimbal is a three-way axis balanced device. So when this is powered on, the camera stays still no matter what I'm doing. So I can literally be running, and that will be rock solid. Fly 360, 360 fly, that's all it is. And this records 4K at 360 degrees. Look like a scoop diver, right? Like, come on, this is bad. <laughs> I don't know why this mushrooms my head up so much. Mm. So what happens is once you've shot with this, you have to put it into the 360 fly software. And it kind of takes this spherical weird um, footage and it makes it a panorama. Just, which... Sorry to interrupt, but like, am I just keeping this on now? Yeah, yeah, don't take it off. Oh, no, you got to put it on. Oh, well, like, just keep it on for the whole video. Just for the next couple of minutes. Oh, it's going to give me like goggle face. No, it won't. It's really Every time you take it off, I've got to start again. So you got to just oh, really? deal with it. Okay. Okay. Oh. Look at how good she looks. <laughs> can, do, can you see my eyes? Yeah, yeah, they're big. <laughs> Are they really? <laughs> Really? You look like a robot with a flappy <laughs> mouth. Right, let's put that back up. Uh, ow! So then, once the once the video is in here, it, as you move around, you've probably seen it with your phone normally, but with these goggles, it makes it really good and immersive. So I'm looking forward to taking this because this is waterproof, and that means when we go deep sea diving, we'll get some really good underwater shots. Except I can't swim, so Pierre's going to be I'll doing do that. that. <laughs> a video mic. From Rode. This is essential because most of my cameras have waterproof mounts, which means that they don't record sound at all. So this is good for anything up to around about three, four meters, um, and it's really directional. And we also have a Lavelier mic. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is like what you get on TV. It clips on here, so if you've got a jacket on, you just clip it on your lapel. Well, the cool thing is about this one: that little fluffy ball on the mic looks like a hamster. You um, gotta explain what hamster cam is. So the camera that I use for most of my cinematic stuff is an Olympus OMD E5 Mark II. And we have a GoPro. This is a Hero 4 Black. My last one, I don't know what happened. I think she broke it because it's now shattered. You can't blame everything on me. <laughs> it wasn't me. So I'm not sure why it's broken, but this is awesome. This is waterproof to like 30 or 40 meters. Also records 1080 at 120 frames a second. Um, and then obviously I have my DJI Phantom 3. I don't have the 4 yet. We made a decision not to buy the 4, purely because I keep crashing the 3, <laughs> and so does she. He once crashed it into a pyramid of donuts on a boat. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. <laughs> As I'm pretty new to GoPro, I'm going to be reading this book on the plane. And I'm halfway through already, and it's actually really good. The GoPro Professional Guide to Filmmaking by Bradford Schmidt. A dude I've met, so that's it. <laughs> 